Scavenge Lord Loot Video. Yes, you lucky, lucky viewers. It's another time for another loot video. Which, by which I mean that I'm the lucky one because I get a lot of free stuff. And I don't do these every week now because that would get a little bit tedious. Uh, for both of us, but I will be making these videos when something special comes around, and I'll show you what I mean here. Now, uh, here are a few items I picked up today. It was another uh, slow loot morning. I didn't bring home boxes and boxes of items because uh, it was uh, very stormy last night to the point where the restaurant that I work was hit by lightning, and might be open a couple of days from now when some repairs are made but uh, a lot of items got wa that were put out last night got waterlogged a lot of items uh, simply didn't get put out uh, this morning at all and still I I did fairly well this is an ironing table and why do I need an ironing table? Ah, uh, for ironing. I actually already have an ironing table, but this one is much nicer. The cloth needs to be washed, but other than that, it's actually in better condition than the one that I use. So I'm going to be swapping those out. Here I have a pair of galoshes. I'm probably not going to use those myself. I'll probably hand those off to the Goodwill. Somebody will need these in some line of work or another. Uh, one pair of stretch pants, one jacket. Which after I launder that, it's probably going to be a fairly nice jacket. Polaric brand name. Thick. Looks comfortable. Some My Coke reward points. Whoa! Darn gravity. This is a bathroom shelf that I'm probably going to hang in my bathroom. I always need more shelf space everywhere. It almost matches a bathroom shelf that I got last week, which is right there on the yonder side of the garage. Now, this is an interesting thing. It's the As Seen on TV Topsy Turvy Strawberry Planter. Uh, the, the box is water damaged as all heck, but everything inside is in great condition. It's the full product, never been used, and I'm going to use this in my own uh, backyard garden. And it should work fairly nice because last week I planted the Topsy Turvy tomato planter and these didn't even come from trash cans in the same house they came from the same subdivision but different houses two different weeks both brand new products and that's fine by me I'll get plenty of use out of them and I've got this poster which is water damaged else skit <sighs> Scavenge Lord, why do you want a water damaged poster? I don't. I got it for the frame. This is a solid wood, real wood, looks handmade frame. And my friend Sally has asked me to start saving some frames for her as I scavenge. And I don't know what she's using them for, but that one should serve her needs very nicely. And here's the main item that I wanted to show you today. We're going to the chapel. And we're taking along a handmade satin wedding gown. Yeah, I found this a couple of weeks back. Um, my friend Sally took it to our local consignment shop and the consignment shop said, no thanks, we don't sell wedding dresses. So, well, they Turn down good money, I suppose, because people would buy this. This is got a tremendous amount of beadwork on it. Look at that. This is handmade. 
you would have to figure out how the to measure the size of this thing and it is for a rather small woman but somebody put a lot of time and effort into this this is a the full wedding gown with a long trail it doesn't have a lot of stains on it it has a few spots down here I saw them earlier where they go uh, somewhere yeah right around the bottom let's see if I can zoom in on that yeah okay I already cleaned this thing up with a little bit of baking soda and pure and a wet washcloth but I didn't I must have missed these spots right here I'm pretty sure that they'll come out rather easily and that yellow dingy tint that you're seeing and you're saying and the beadwork and you're saying ew that's that, guys that's just the color of these sequins okay they're off-white on this camera, they come out looking a little bit brownish, I suppose. But it's got this long trail, and it's got its own veil that I found in the same box. And now I'll show you the back side. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with this wedding dress. I'm not going to wear it. I want to fit. And I'm already married anyway, so my wife might have a problem with that. But, um, maybe I'll try eBaying it and seeing what comes of that. If you have any suggestions on what a guy can do with a wedding dress that he found scavenging, let me know. Uh, please contact me through the comments. I'm going to leave the comments open for as long as I can until the trolls start feeling trolly and then I shut down the comments. I'm going to turn this into the sunlight so we can get one last good look at it. And then I'm going to leave you guys be. Thank you very much for your time. This has been a Scavenge Lord loot video.